French architect Odile Deck cuts a striking figure, and her designs are also eye-catching, such as her latest for the Palais Garnier, which houses the Paris Opera. It's a modern restaurant covering just under 800 square meters, built at a cost of 6 million euros. It's the first restaurant ever to be built in the palace, which dates back to 1875. I'm not afraid to combine contemporary design with old architecture. On the contrary, historical structures should keep developing because human life keeps on developing. The Opéra Garnier, as the Opera House is known, is a listed building, meaning the ceilings, walls and columns cannot be changed. The original interior has to be recognizable. The architect took that as a challenge. We had the idea of putting in curved glass walls, and that's just what we did on the upper floor. It's as if the room wound around the columns, which we're not allowed to touch. Everything had to be cleared with the preservation office. We ended up with different areas, some for group events and others for intimate dinners. When you enter the restaurant, you can tell very easily what's new and what was already there. That's what I like so much about Odile Deck's proposal, and that's what convinced the Institute for Preservation to approve the project. The restaurant is only one of Odile Deck's new projects. She's currently got 20 employees at her Paris agency working on 20 projects worldwide. This year, the French city of Rennes will be opening a new Museum of Modern Art. Work has also been underway since 2007 on a major new passenger terminal in the port of Tangier, Morocco. DEC has a reputation for groundbreaking ideas. Every time I want to add more or risk more, but it's not always possible. Some clients can't accept that, which is fine. But there's no reason why you shouldn't make suggestions to your clients that they're not expecting from you. For instance, you can introduce forms that they might see as odd. But that's what we architects are here for. Odile Deck also has ideas for aircraft design that she'd like to try. She's already made a splash in design circles with a 43-meter yacht in black. The interior has swaths of red, a dominant color in all her creations. The red first showed up in our drawings, and then in the models, and then finally in the products themselves. To me, it's a living red, because when you're alive, your blood has a different color than it does when you're dead. This genuine red is friendlier, more dynamic and brilliant. And I use it because it makes me feel alive. Odile Deck worked on the Macro Museum in Rome for some 10 years. The 12,000 square meter extension cost around 22 million euros. It was officially dedicated in December 2010. But Deck does not limit herself to large-scale projects. She often designs the furniture to go with her buildings, as she did for the conference center in UNESCO's Paris headquarters. More and more design companies are observing our work and asking us to do things for them. So we're constantly coming up with new products. We're at the point where we could do everything from door handles to buildings to complex city planning. That's what I think is so exciting about our work. Here, for example, I designed a chair for the Macron Museum's restaurant in Rome. It's actually quite simple. It consists of two squares, and just a crease in the back gives it an interesting note and more structure. She also created the chairs for the Opéra Garnier, and not surprisingly, Odile Deck once again used her favorite color.